How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So today we are going to take a look at not one, but two of our prospects. One taken all the way back in the 2019 NHL draft and one taken in the following draft. They have both grown to become big fish in a large prospect pool. But before we get too far in today's video, I want to give a shout out to Devin the Lemon. We have had tremendous support from you guys and want to start thanking you guys for making the Red Wing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team and sport. So first, let's talk about Johansson, the 6 foot 168 pound defenseman taken in the second round of the 2019 NHL entry draft. Last season in the SHL, he pretty much was the best U20 defenseman by a landslide except for Marit Sider. But Sider's season was record breaking, so coming in second really isn't a bad thing. Following into the offseason, he signed his entry level contract with the Wings and was loaned back to Fargeston to continue to develop. This season has been okay in the SHL. Currently sitting at 5 goals, 20 assists for 25 points in 50 games played. And while it wasn't increased from his 19 points last season, it wasn't a very big jump. Okay, but he's a defenseman, not a forward. Why are we judging his offense? Well, the only way we can measure his increase or decrease in defensive capabilities would be his plus minus. And well, it ain't pretty. Last season he was a plus 15, this season he is currently at a minus 10. However, comparing his stats to his teammates, he currently sits at 6th on the team in points and 1st in points for defensemen. And then comparing him to players his age in the league, he currently sits at 2nd overall and 1st in points for defensemen. So he's still posting pretty good numbers, just not what you're hoping for. For the Johansson fans, don't lose hope. Eisenman has proven to be a top tier manager at identifying and developing talent. And a trend that has been appearing is that for some reason a really good player or prospect will have an okay, maybe even bad season. Then the following season they come back better than before. We saw it with Larkin and Wallander last season. And Johansson is not the only big name prospect underperforming his expectations. Emil Vero and Sebastian Costa are underperforming their expectations as well. And interestingly enough, all three are signed by the Wings. It's a possibility that Eisenman is just having them focus on certain weaknesses and skills and not caring what the stats show. Just for their development in those areas. It could also just be bad seasons and a couple of coincidences. Moving on to Wallander. Wallander had it rough last season, struggling to make an impact in the SHL and played mostly in the Hockey Osvenskan, Sweden's version of the American Hockey League. And honestly didn't do great there either with 6 points in 43 games played. But this season the 6 foot 4 190 pound defenseman went over to play with Rogla where Sider played last season and really hasn't looked back. He played some U20 competition but once he got into the SHL he stuck and now owns a fairly impressive stat line of 4 goals, 14 assists for 18 points in 44 games played with a plus minus of plus 7. And comparing his stats to his teammates and peers in the league, he looks even more promising. Currently sitting at 8th overall on the team and 2nd in points for defensemen. And comparing him to all the other U20 players, forwards and defensemen, he leads everyone with 18 points in 44 games played. Now, this is a really important time for the two young defensemen and really all of our prospects in the SHL because the playoffs are starting soon, as in possibly next week. With loads of prospects on playoffs teams, there's bound to be a player or two that will step up to help his team on a deep playoff run. What do you guys think of Wallander and Johansson? Will we see either of them in Detroit next season? Join the discussion, let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like, that way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you're a Red Wings fan, if you're a hockey fan, if you're just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other great fans of this team and sport. And until next time, lights on the Red Light District.